I'm going to show you three ways how you can take a screenshot with any of your iPhone 14s. So the first way, the most common way, is a two key combination. If you press the volume up and the power button at the same time, press and let go, it's going to take a screenshot. Again, volume up, power, ready, set, go. Just press and let go, both buttons at the same time. Now if you press and hold both buttons, if you press and hold the volume up and power, press and hold, that's going to bring up the power off menu. So again, volume up, power. Just press them both at the same time and voila. Now every time you take a screenshot, it's going to get saved automatically into your Photos app. So tap on that and then you just go down here, tap on Albums. Down here and then you just want to go ahead and scroll down and look for screenshots right there and there's all your screenshots, okay? Another way you can take a screenshot is if you enable your double tap, back tap. So if I double tap, it takes a screenshot. I'll show you again. I'm going to double tap here. And voila. Now you have to enable that, okay? So if you just go to settings, and then from your settings, you want to scroll up until you see accessibility right here. So we'll tap on that. And then down here it says touch. Let's tap on touch. Now from here, we're going to scroll all the way up. To the very bottom here it says back tap, okay? By default, yours is off. Mine is currently on because I enabled a double tap. So let me tap on here. Now we actually have two things here. We have double tap. You can see I put screenshot. Just go ahead and choose screenshot. But you can also do triple tap too. So I have triple tap on a screenshot as well. So if I double tap, it's going to take a screenshot. And I also have the triple tap enabled as well. So if I do triple tap. Oops. It'll take a screenshot. Now the last way you can take a screenshot is if you enable this assistive touch right here. So I have this enabled, so all I got to do is just tap that once. And it doesn't matter where I go on my screen, you can see this one always stays in the foreground, okay? So you, what you want to do is go to settings. And then from here, again we want to go to accessibility, so we're going to keep scrolling up until we see accessibility right here. Let's tap on that. And now from here, we're going to go down and tap on touch again. And the first one up here says assistive touch. Mine is currently on. By default, it is off. Okay, so let's tap on assistive touch. And now, if we look down here, we can see custom actions. We can do single tap to make a screenshot, double tap, or long press. Okay, also you need to go ahead and enable this. Okay, so once I enable the assistive touch, this little, this little floaty thing here appears. Okay. So I have single tap on screenshot. Let's put a double tap on screenshot as well. So let me go ahead and scroll down. And where is screenshot right here? So let's tap on screenshot, okay? So now I have single tap, which will take a screenshot. And also the double tap is enabled as well, as you can see, okay? And like I said, this always stays in the foreground here. Let's take one more screenshot. Pretty simple. Questions or issues? Comment below.